we want to find the general solution to the given differential equation, which happens to be a linear second order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients. Meaning, the given differential equation fits this form here, where a, b, and c are constants. And because it fits this form, we can find the general solution by determining the solutions to the characteristic equation, also called the characteristic values, and then based upon the type of solutions this quadratic has, we can determine the form of the general solution. So let's begin by noticing that a is equal to one, b is equal to negative four, and c is equal to five. And therefore, the characteristic equation would be r squared minus four r plus five equals zero. Unfortunately, this is not factorable because there are no factors of positive five that add to negative four, and therefore to solve this, we'll have to use the quadratic formula. So we'll have r equals negative b, which would be negative negative four plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative four, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is five, and all this is divided by two times a, or two times one. So we'll have r equals positive four, plus or minus, here we'll have sixteen minus twenty, that's negative four, all this is divided by two. Well the square root of negative four would be two i, so we have four plus or minus two i divided by two, or r equals four divided by two, plus or minus two i divided by two. So this simplifies nicely to r equals two plus or minus i. So notice how the roots or solutions to the characteristic equation are complex. And this determines the form of the general solution to the given differential equation. So let's go ahead and highlight this and now let's review the different forms of general solutions. So in our case, when the characteristic equation has complex roots in the form of alpha plus or minus beta i, this will be the form of the general solution. As we've seen in previous examples, if we had two distinct real roots, this would be the form of the general solution. And if we had two real equal roots, the general solution would be in this form here. Going back to our example, notice that alpha would be equal to two, and because we have plus or minus i, this is the same as plus or minus one i, beta is equal to one. So now we'll simply make the substitutions into y of x. So the general solution will be y of x, equals c sub one, a constant, times e raised to the power of alpha x, which would be two x, times cosine of beta times x, again beta is one, so we just have cosine x, plus c sub two, times e to the power of alpha x, which is two x, times sine of beta x, or sine x in this case. This would be the general solution to the given differential equation. So the most important thing to remember when solving this type of differential equation is that the types of solutions to the characteristic equation do affect the form of the general solution. I hope you found this helpful.